Section 113 A Revelation Given to Joseph Smith, Jr. at Kirtland, Ohio, November 3, 1835 Thus came the word of the Lord unto me concerning the twelve. Behold, they are under condemnation because they have not been sufficiently humble in my sight, and in consequence of their covetous desires, and that they have not dealt equally with each other in the division of the monies which came into their hands. Nevertheless, some of them dealt equally, therefore they shall be rewarded. But verily I say unto you, they must all humble themselves before me, before they will be accounted worthy to receive an endowment to go forth in my name unto all nations. As for my servant William Smith, let the eleven humble themselves in prayer and in faith and wait on me in patience, and my servant William shall return. And I will yet make him a polished shaft in my quiver, in bringing down the wickedness and abominations of men. And there shall be none mightier than he in his day and generation. Nevertheless, if he repent not speedily, he shall be brought low and shall be chastened sorely for all his iniquities he has committed against me. Nevertheless, the sin which he has sinned against me is not even now more grievous than the sin with which my servant David W. Patton, my servant Orson Hyde, and my servant William E. McClellan have sinned against me and the residue are not sufficiently humbled before me. Behold, the parable which I spoke concerning a man having twelve sons, for what man among you, having twelve sons, and is no respecter to them, and they serve him obediently, and he says unto the one, Be you clothed in robes, and sit you here, and to the other, Be you clothed in rags, and sit you there, and looks upon his sons, and says, I am just. You will answer and say, No man. And you answer truly. Therefore, verily thus says the Lord your God, I appointed these twelve that they should be equal in their ministry, and in their portion, and in their evangelical rites. Wherefore, they have sinned a very grievous sin inasmuch as they have made themselves unequal, and have not hearkened unto my voice. Therefore, let them repent speedily, and prepare their hearts for the solemn assembly and for the great day which is to come, verily thus says the Lord. Amen.